WAT. It is word association test. For a positive sentence which you have made, if I am giving you plus one, for neutral I'll give you zero, and of course for negative it will be minus one. When you write personal responses, it becomes selfish. कि आप selfish हैं या दूसरी चीज आपको कोई idea नहीं आ रहा है तो आपने सीधा I, we, they, he, she से start कर दिया sentence और लिख दिया. The briefing for this situation reaction test is personal experiences, no right or wrong answers, and write the actions that you are going to take in that particular situation. Self description: uh, We want candidates to write five paragraphs in TAT. You are writing about eight to ten lines. So here in SD, in three minutes, we expect you to write about six to eight lines. जय हिंद वंदे मातरम एंड भारत माता की जय स्वागत है आपको ऑन द फौजी शो टुडे वी हैव विद अस वेरी वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट परहैप्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट साइकोलॉजिस्ट इन इंडिया कैप्टन जोशी सर सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग अस योर प्रेशियस टाइम पिछली बार जब हमने आपके साथ वीडियो शूट किया था व्हिच वाज पार्ट 1 ऑफ दिस वीडियो दैट वाज ऑन टीएटी एंड हाउ टू राइट स्टोरीज तो प्लीज चेक दैट आउट और लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन अ Captain Joshi sir has more than 17 years of experience in various SSB boards as psychologist across India. Sir is presently running his own establishment called JC SSB Partshala. The link is in description. Do check it out. Their batch next batch is starting soon. Ah, uh, sir, thank you so much. Sir, I want to know your audience. Ko ab batayiye ki aapka pehla video aapko kaisa laga sir jab aap aaye the and the feedback which you have received because uspe fifteen thousand views ho chuke already. Sir, but to be very frankly speaking, I, I, I personally bhi tere ko bola tha ki I was very afraid of uh, going on air because I am not that uh, very um, um uh, I am actually camera shy person, but. It is all because of you. आपने मेरी हिम्मत बढ़ाई कि नहीं सर आप कीजिए एंड काफी बच्चों के मेरे पास क्वेरीज uh, आई कि सर ऐसा आपने बोला था कुछ क्वेरीज नेगेटिव भी थी क्योंकि मैंने शायद लड़कियों की बढ़ाई करती थी तो दो चार लोगों को शायद वो पसंद नहीं आया कि लड़कियां अच्छा करती है वो पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ है एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर अगेन होस्टिंग मी सिमरत and um, probably the first part was tat now uh, we should go in for the second part that is what i thought which will consist of wat srt and uh, sd in brief and any time anybody who is interested he can always give a call and uh, ask me uh, if there are any doubts great so uh, guys today's uh video will be conducted in a kind of like a workshop manner i have some questions from aspirants तो सर पहले डब्ल्यू ए टी का ब्रीफिंग करेंगे एंड देन फिर आई विल आस्क क्वेश्चंस सिमिलरली एस आर टी एंड एस डी टी टाइम स्टैम्प है आप उसके हिसाब से भी कर सकते हैं बट आई वुड रिकमेंड यू वॉच द इंटायर वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो चेक आउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट जो टी ए टी पर है सो सर लेट स्टार्ट डब्ल्यू ए टी इट इज वर्ड एसोसिएशन टेस्ट नाउ दिस एसोसिएशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट हाउ डज ए कैंडिडेट associate himself or herself to the word which has been shown to him this association will tell me out of the 15 olqs on which i am assessing a candidate whether he is getting or expressing those olqs while making that sentence or not so association is the main key word when we are checking our wat the briefing is very simple um, uh, gentlemen it is again a test of your imagination and in this test you will be shown 60 words one after the other and what you are required to do is look at the word whatever first idea thought or emotion which comes to your mind express it in form of a sentence it is not a test of english it is a test of your idea or thought or emotion if you wish to use the word which is shown to you you can use it but if you don't want to use it choice is absolutely yours 
but we at ssb recommend that it is better to use the word which is shown to you after 15 seconds the slide changes automatically and the next word appears and this word remain flashed on the screen for 15 seconds during this 15 seconds you have to look up read the word think on a idea or thought and then write it after 20th and 40th word there is a blank slide basically to facilitate you to turn over the page and also in case if you have gone wrong in your sequencing because sequencing is very important in wat if you have gone wrong in your sequencing you can correct it at 21st and 41st word next slide now there are some do's and don'ts while you write your wat do's are very simple that you have to write your thoughts idea and emotions like in case if your english is slightly weak and if you don't know the meaning of a particular word then rather leaving it completely blank it is better to write that meaning not known taki assessor ko pata chal jaye ki aapne us shabd ko jaanboojh ke nahi choda hai aapko us word ka meaning malum nahi hai isliye aap us word ko chhod rahe hain and it is very important and to be uh, precise not more than 4 to 5 blanks are permitted till 4 5 we can give you a chance ki okay probably you don't know the meaning or the previous one you have written it too long that you didn't get time to write or think about the next word but should not be more than 5 blanks should be there when you are writing all your 60 now uh, whatever the candidate write a sentence we divide these sentences into five categories the first category is called factuals example next slide the word can be earth or sun now if candidate writes a word earth revolves around the sun it's a factual thing or second example word can be major rank or army and if you write major is a rank in the army again it's a fact factual word can be the third example word can be live or water and if you write fish live in water again a factual thing so factual does not give you a positive remark it's neutral so for example if for a positive sentence which you have made if i am giving you plus 1 for neutral i'll give you zero and of course for negative it will be minus 1 but again just a small advice if you are not getting a a good sentence it is better to write factuals absolutely it is better to write factual rather than leaving it blank the second category next slide it is called informative ki aap mujhe kuch information dena chahte hain jaise for example the word is captain yadi main sentence likhu ya kisi bachche ne sentence likha hai rohit sharma is the captain of indian cricket team so again it's a information that you are giving me the second example is word is capital यदि आप लिखते हैं टोक्यो इज द कैपिटल ऑफ जापान अगेन यू आर गिविंग मी द इंफॉर्मेशन तीसरी कैटेगरी है जनरल अवेयरनेस और करंट अफेयर्स एंड दे आल्सो फॉल इनटू न्यूट्रल कैटेगरी एग्जांपल द वर्ड इज पावर इफ यू राइट और इफ कैंडिडेट राइट्स इंडक्शन ऑफ ड्रॉन हेरॉन हैज बूस्टेड इंडिया एयर पावर so it's a general knowledge or general awareness response that you are writing the second example of this is a game or a defense can be the word if you write ngmv is a game changer for india's maritime defense so again it's a neutral sentence for me 
for which you will not get marks. But again, if you are not getting an observational sentence, it is better to write factual, informative, and general info awareness or general knowledge or current affairs sentences rather than leaving it blank. It is very important not to leave blank. Of course, this will give me some idea that at least you are current in your general awareness and current affairs. So probably if I'm big hearted, I will give you marks. Then surely you will get marks. The next category is called cliche. Or Hindi mein jisko kehte hain muhavre. Say next slide. The word can be honesty or policy. Honesty is the best policy. As you sow, so shall, so shall you reap. Jaisa boge, vesa paoge. Once bitten, twice shy. Health is wealth. So yes, a muhavre. Muhavre bhi neutral category mein aate hain. But wahi baat hai. Khali chhodne ke bajaye, aap unko likh sakte hain. Ye aapko harm nahi karenge. What will harm? Next slide is personal sentences. When you start your sentences with I, we, they, he, she, Ram, Sita. Say for example, word is honest. I am honest. Word can be brave or a soldier. He is a brave soldier. Word is a student. Ram is an intelligent student. So, jab bhi aap koi personal remark likhte hain, wo negative response ho jata hai. And they have to be avoided. When you write personal responses, it becomes selfish. Ki aap selfish hai, ya dousri cheej, aap ko koi idea nahi aara hai, to aap ne sidha I, we, they, he, she se start kar diya sentence or lik diya. So they have to be definitely avoided. And they are absolutely negative or acidic sentences when you start or write personal sentences. Another kind of sentences called injectional sentences, they are also negative sentences. When you use should, could, must, try, in your sentences, they become injectional and they are again negative sentences or they are called preachy sentences. Like at first example, one must always obey seniors. You are giving an advice which has not been asked for. Second example, soldier should always follow orders. Soldier always follow the orders. But why are you adding that word should in between? It means you are again trying to be preachy, which is incorrect. Third example, children could balance studies and hobbies. Again, use of word could, not accepted. And especially this word, last example which I had shown, the word, use of word try. मैं आपसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं यदि मैं आपको बोलता हूं सिमरत आज शाम को मेरे घर खाना खाने आ जाना एंड इफ यू रिप्लाई टू मी कि सर आई विल ट्राई इट मींस इट इज 50-50 सो द फुल एफर्ट्स हैव नॉट बीन मेड बाय द इंडिविजुअल और द कैंडिडेट व्हेन ही राइट्स द वर्ड ट्राई वेदर इन टीएटी डब्ल्यूएटी एंड एसआरटी में तो इट इज अ स्ट्रांगली नेगेटिव व्हेन ही राइट्स दिस वर्ड ट्राई he will try to convince that I'll cover up when we go on to the SRT part. So this word try is also not to be used. So this is, these are negatives. What we are looking for is observational remarks. Like the first example, if you remember, the word was sun. Sun is a source of light and energy. That's an observational remark or observational sentence. And these kind of observational sentences we want from candidates 
in WAT. Now the next slide. I have done a small uh, homework for uh, you guys. The words in SRT are classified into five categories. If you look at the slide and have just a look, you will find the first word in each column is profession. That is architect, doctor, lawyer, driver. If you go to the third column, that words are isolation, dirty, criticism, irritation and they are called negative words. Two categories over. If you look at the fourth column, the words are bravery, determination, strength, ability. What are these? These are the action words wherein you just can't say Indian soldiers are brave. Determination leads to success, no. These are the action words where we want candidate to write sentences that gives us his, basically the factor four. The fourth variety, if you look at the last column, that is earth, chair, building, wall, they are non-living things, all of them. Now the balance left is the second column wherein it is new, great, garden, desire. This category is called a general category. So five categories, profession, general, negative, action, and non-living. You will not find any other category of words in your WAT. So advice, when you ask me, sir, how do we practice? There are a lot of words available in the Google or various sites. Say you download 100 words. Or in 100 words, go, you make them in these five different categories. Probably it's a homework, but if you want to succeed, you will have to do this homework. So you divide those 100 or 120 or 150 words which you have downloaded, make a these five different columns and write those words. Now you start practicing. And first day, you will not achieve 15 seconds. If you have one month, even one month time for your SSB, start practicing with 30 seconds. After seven days, reduce time to 20 seconds. After that, reduce time to 15 seconds, the third week. Obviously, if you start, I will do it on the first day in 15 seconds only, you will find that out of, even if you are doing 30 words, you will find that 10 words you have left it blank. So start practicing with more time. Give your brain to adopt to that particular word. How do the brain will react to that word and how will you make a good observational sentences? Probably that by the time you finish third week, you will find that the brain has started working and you are finishing your WAT in 15 seconds or less than 15 seconds. The second common mistakes, about 40 to 50% boys and girls they make is, they start, write the word first and then write the sentence. But you, know, you are wasting your time, four to five seconds or at least four seconds in writing that word. If that word is long enough, say for example, the word is co-education, ah, oh, you will waste five seconds, hundred percent. Even if the word is determination, you will waste five seconds. You are, now you have got only ten seconds to write your sentence. So never write your words or prefix the word and then write the sentence. And this is the advice from me that practice, download, hundred words. 150 words, divide them into these five categories and each category then you start practicing. Like observational, I was telling you, like this word, chair, which is a non-living word. Chair, the first idea will come to a candidate's mind is chair is made up of wood 
or chair helps a student in studies. But if the sentence is chair indicates or denotes the position of a person in office, that's an observational sentence. And that is what we want. So kids, if you have any question on WAT, please come back to me. Simrat, I am ready to answer any questions which you have got. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for that uh, brilliant uh, uh, workshop. Sir, a uh, few questions do I have from the uh, point of view of an aspirant is that their basic is ki how to start preparation. So like you have uh, rightly said, ki divide all those 100 words which you have downloaded in those five columns and then uh, followed by 30 second preparation, then 20 second and then 15 second. But how do you know ki is it correct or is it not correct? So uh, should the candidate uh, like assess himself after his, uh, uh, after he has written all those uh, sentences on WAT, ki how many he could write observational, how many he could write uh, factual, and how many in how many he used modal verbs or he was selfish like I, me, myself. So, वैसा कुछ उसको assessment करना है uh, after this. हाँ करना ही है इसलिए सम्रद सबसे बड़ी चीज ये है कि do not practice all sixty words in one day. Okay. Practice only 20 words. This 60 words practice, you can do it only say one week advance or 10 days in advance of your SSB and that too not every day. It, it doesn't require that much of practice. Karna hai, aap 20 word karo. Aapne likhe hai 20 word or now, mene aapko batla hai ki do's and don'ts kya hai. Aapko batla hai ki what is not acceptable. Especially the personal and the preachy words. Yadi aapne wo nahi likhe hai, bhoat achhi baat hai. Now you go and assess yourself, self-introspection ki bhai, mene general awareness pe kitne likhe hai, current affairs pe kitne likhe hai, kitne mene muhaure bana diya hai. Correct. And then balance bacha to kya bacha? Observational. So last at the end, 20, out of 20, say, okay, I made two personal, teen cliche, for general awareness. Now, up bet ke, jo apne cliche likha hai, ya general awareness likhi hai, ya current affair likha hai, us word ke upar dubara mein, aram se, now, socho, ki mein isko observational kaise bana sakta hon. And believe me, yadi bachcha khud aisi hi mehnat kar lega, he doesn't require coaching. Wo apne aap hi samaj jayega ki haan, and then the brain will start functioning Towards making observational sentence. Or jab bachcha itni mehnat khud hi kar raha hai, maan lo koi bhi word hai, jaysa mene bhi aapko chair ka example diya. Yadi usne khud nahi yadi ye sentence bana liya, probably trust me, he will never forget that sentence in his life. Or if, till at least his SSB, he will not forget. Great. So, uh, in a summary, agar bachcha ko teori karni hai, to pehle words download karo, five columns mein, uh, divide karo or fir uske baad go, go slow or no. like choose 20 words and fir uske upar sentences likhe or then assessment ki observational kitne hai idioms oh. kitne hai mahavare kitne hai wo sab uh, karo and sir one more thing how to tackle negative words like knife like murder ya kill so how is there any uh, technique like how can one go about it Fill the bad thoughts in your mind. Okay. Knife is used for cutting vegetables. Or knife is a weapon used by Gorkha regiment as a last resort. Murder, murder mysteries are solved by or is solved by police ban gaya na positive okay. kahan negative and also just one disclaimer for the audience uh, you can 
put like don't behind negative word like that uh, you can't negate it no you can negate it yes yeah. you are right i forgot to mention that yeah yeah it means so, don't turn negative word by using don't to positive okay and great. one more thing i forgot yes in um, do not start writing meaning of the words that is okay. also one thing that is found that bachcho ko kuch sentence nahi mil raha hai to khat se us word ka wo meaning likh deta hai okay theek hai great uh on that note let's move to the second phase which is srt uh, yeah. so sir you can carry on the briefing for this situation reaction test is um uh ladies and gentlemen uh, you will be <coughs> given a booklet which will have uh, some situations and these situations are day to day situations after reading the situations how do you feel think and act in these situations and what you have to do is you have to write the actions so basically you have to first feel the situation think that what you can do and then finally act on that situation and so actions are the most important thing that you have to write after reading that situation there are total 60 situations and time limit is 30 minutes do as many situations as possible and uh, there are no right or wrong answers to these situations every individual is likely to react or act to these situations depending upon his or her personal experiences so personal experiences no right or wrong answers and write the actions that you are going to take in that particular situation and you are the hero for me when you are taking action in that particular situation don't the first don't is do not leave any blank or incomplete situation if you are starting from 1 and in 30 minutes even if you are able to complete 45 please do not leave blank yeah until unless if you don't understand the situation i'll just give you an example of not understanding a situation if the boy is never seen a boat in his life and if the situation comes that you have gone for a boating and the rudder breaks what will you do so obviously if the boy has not seen a boat in his life and he doesn't know that what is the use of a rudder in a boat so obviously he will leave it blank so rather than leaving it blank like in wat same thing not understood so it will be clear to the instructor or the assessor that yes this boy does not know the meaning of the word which has been written in the situation so do not leave any blank start from one and wherever you end there shouldn't be any blank until unless if you do not understand the situation you do not write long sentences use commas in between and make your answer short crisp and to the point generally what are the types like in wta i said there are five varieties similarly out here in srt also there are same again five to six variety of situations you will find so family situation that your example you have just completed your graduation got a good job now your parents are forcing you to marry what will you do another example you have your father is who was a sole bread winner for your family and 
he is seriously ill now what will you do so these are all family situations adventure or action example you had been told to organize a trip for your classmates what will you do you had been told to organize a sports meet in your school or as a volleyball match in your school what will you do so these are part of action and adventure the next is variety is moral responsibility say for example you have to travel from by train from delhi to bhopal for your ssb and you are still waiting list one you reach the railway station and then you find that you are still not confirmed so you go to the tt and tt tells you okay give me 500 rupees i will tell you where to go and sleep for the night what will you do moral you had been told to deliver a secret message and during a emergency time what will you do moral values so then again some action it is raining very heavily and your father started having a stomach ache and medicine not available at home and there is no transportation available your neighbor is on leave or his house is locked what will you do so these are the kinds of situations that you will find day to day life situations and then i said depending upon your experience you will write the remarks but do not write especially in the case where i told you you don't have a confirmed reservation practically you might give 500 rupees and go but here please don't write that's an advice right so next slide <clears throat> i'll give you two three examples say you are going back home late at a night and you see a snake crossing the road what will you do so a unexperienced or a candidate who is not very well organized the remark which is written in red in the slide he will become cautious tried i told not to use the word try but still try to think what to do and after waiting for a few minutes decide to take another route and somehow reach home and that's a uh, answer which is i will not say wrong because in the briefing i said there are no right or wrong answers but here the answer is not apt i will say it is not correct now the, if you read the one which is written in blue gets alert let the snake pass and continue and reach home so see the answer is precise short and crisp now here i have written down below again what is the problem given to you problem is snake solutions there could have been three solutions avoid capture and kill but what i have chosen here avoid because that poor snake is not harming you wo bhi sadak pe ja raha hai aap bhi sadak pe ja rahe ho usko apne raste jaane do aap wait kar lo uske ba wo chala jaye fir aap chale jana avoid similarly now the situation changes you are taking a bath and you find a snake coming out of the drain now what will you do so here obviously you have a option of capture and kill but still the better option is to capture how will you capture him now here the factor one of candidates comes into play bathroom mein balti hoti hai viper hota hai viper se usko balti ke wahan lao balti dhak do uske upar saman rakh do heavy go out call snake catcher or people from forest department let them catch that gentleman and let him also live in forest 
in the third case when the situation changes that you have come out of your bathroom and your brother is sleeping on the bed and you find a cobra next to his legs so obviously bro you have to kill that snake in that situation so same situation problem is same snake but depending upon the situation there are three different solution avoid capture and kill second example while traveling by train you notice a fire in the coach what will you do the one again in the red is not i i'll not say correct but i'll say not apt shouted rushed out to find the duty personnel while looking for the fire extinguisher also tried pulling the chain and will help other fellow passengers it is a haphazard way of tackling the situation the correct is raise alarm pull chain help the fellow passengers and generally uh, if the candidates have that observation power all compartments in today's world even the sleeper coach compartments have got fire extinguishers at the attendance post so you have a extinguisher available use it to extinguish the fire so this is how you have to answer your srts right simrat anything from your side yes sir thank you so much for that uh, brilliant uh, explanation uh, sir actually there are few questions aapne animal wala to ekdam sort kar diya i don't think ab kisi ko uh, koi doubt hoga uh, audience mein lekin uh, one thing i want to ask is ki wo goon wala situation bahut aata hai ki aap uh, gundo wala sir ki aap movie se aa rahe ho and uh, you get surrounded by 10 people now what you will do so what should you do in that scenario when you are alone and when you are with someone like so if there are 10 people against you obviously you have to surrender yes sir <laughs> no doubt about it see uh, there is a difference between showing courage and being full hardy sir uh, i will give you another example uh you have to go and meet your sister in the nearby village and you are on your cycle uh say 3 4 distance you are covered and the cycle is not behaving got punctured it started raining and um, it's going to be another 15 minutes it is going to be sunset what will you do so i will take my cycle and go under the shed find a shed and just wait for the rain to go aise na no samrat yahan pe yahi kar no no the I, i will give you another situation you are you are coming back after a cinema show late night and okay. it started raining and there is no shed scene okay so do you understand the difference between the two in one situation i have told you no shed available okay Are, in this the first case when you are going and meeting your sister i didn't talk about any shit okay. but still but still if you write drag my cycle to the nearest mechanic shop get it repaired enjoy the rain reach sister's house change clothes and enjoy a cup of hot coffee or hot cup of tea with her ma'am no, sir so let's go back jab aapne hmm. bola ki uh, shed ke bare mein zikr nahi kiya situation hmm. mein तो आई सेड कि आई विल फाइंड वेट फॉर द द रेन एंड स्टैंड इन शेड सो दैट इज कंप्लीट नहीं किया ना तूने फिर जब रेन रुकेगी देन स्टिल यू 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 हैव हैव टू टू योर 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 साइकिल गेट इट रिपेयर्ड एंड गो सिस्टर्स सो दैट इज वेयर द थिंग इज की कंप्लीशन ऑफ सिचुएशन इज वेरी ओके सो आई वेट इन द शेड and then when rain goes away i go to the mechanic and then go to my sister right yeah but then there was a second situation to it it is going to be sunset in next 15 minutes okay there are two complications okay so in both the cases when i said no shade available and in this case 
I didn't talk about anything shit. Still, if you enjoy the rain, मजा ही आ जाएगा ना पढ़ने वाले को सर मजा तो आएगा लेकिन सर प्रैक्टिकली जुकाम भी हो सकता है सर <laughs> हो सकता है बिल्कुल हो सकता है बिल्कुल हो सकता है क्यों नहीं हो सकता बट जी देर आर नो राइट और रॉन्ग आंसर इट इज द कंप्लीशन ऑफ द सिचुएशन फाइनली व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू रीच योर सिस्टर्स प्लेस ओके ग्रेट आई थिंक मैं सही टाइम पे एस एस बी से निकल गया नहीं नहीं यू आर गुड ग्रेट एंड हाँ सर एस आई टी का प्रिपरेशन पे थोड़ा बात करते हैं इसमें हाउ डू वी सी की इफ आर रिस्पॉन्सेज आर करेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट योर डूज यर चेक यू कैन इनरोल इन जे सी एस एस बी पाठशाला द लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन But sir, other than that, if like someone is preparing on his own, like W A T, me there was a way self assessment. So, in this, what can a candidate do? Or, sir, but in this, the problem is that even if you do self assessment, uh, there are two things. Firstly, the situation has to be met with, right? And secondly. do not go into superhero responses or okay. do not make your situation complex now this complexity again with example i will explain uh complexity and illogical both will come in one situation only uh say you are going for your morning run and about uh, 50 meters ahead you see a um, car hitting a cyclist and zooming off the 50% students will write not down the registration number because at the end he has to inform police also na so that's why the first reaction he will write not down the registration number uh to be very frankly speaking 50 meters ahead the first thing what how do you come to know that there was an accident by noise dum so where is your attention where is your brain towards the cyclist next towards the car man who has just zoomed off and at 50 meters it is just even if your eye sight is 6 by 5 it is very difficult to read the registration number so illogical response first of all then he will say immediately he rushed now there is nothing called immediately or suddenly you will reach to the spot pick up that man ask him about his welfare if he says i am fine you continue your jogging and then this man goes on his cycle back that is one way of solving this uh, situation second way give him first aid call for ambulance admit him in hospital pay for his bill inform his parents or family and leave hospital when his family arrives so see how complex you have made that situation so it is better to remain at ease do not tinker with the situation till the time if situation says the cycle man has been hit injured and the car chap has run off till the time that injury word has not been given in the situation do not make your situation complex because unnecessarily you will have to write two and half lines and aaj ke you have gone for your running so probably you will not be carrying your purse also how will you pay for your bill so that is where irrelevant illogical superhero responses have to be avoided and that is how you can practice by saying that whether i am limiting myself to the situation or not okay great 
थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर दैट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सर बिफोर गोइंग टू एस डी वन थिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू आस्क इज आई नाउ आई डोंट नो इफ इट इज अ मिथ और नॉट बट लाइक सम पीपल हैव सेड कि साइकोलॉजिस्ट मेक्स हिज रिमार्क या हिज जजमेंट आफ्टर टी ए टी इट सेल्फ लाइक सेवेंटी परसेंट उसका जजमेंट हो जाता है इज इट ट्रू या सब इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट है नहीं इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है you are going to your uncle's house or somebody to friend's house to get the money but on the way you find a purse containing 10000 rupees what will you do these are very stray responses but there are say if i have 30 candidates in my batch there will be two or three responses like this which i am going to tell you and which are very shocking The candidate, sir, the candidate, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, the candidate will write. He will use that money for father's treatment. Once his father is all right, take the money from him and return the purse and the money to the owner. That is totally wrong. लिखते हैं भाई लिखते हैं. And this one response. he must have done wonders in tat wat this one response is good enough for the psychologist to put his veto power and say ki i will not allow this candidate to go to the academy so like just, if that's just, just a stray example so like if the interim officer and gdo they say ki candidate is true from our side and psychologist points this out so yeah. He's but gone. if if psychologist points this thing out, uh, trust me, IO and GTO will put their pen down and they say okay, we are with you. Okay. And sir, does this veto power only have like it's with psychologist only or no, no. GTO or psychologist? It is with all three assessors. Okay. So, कोई अगर ऐसा response या action किया candidate ने, so it will go against him totally. Definitely yes. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, let's move on to the last part, which is self-description test. Uh, sir, I will change it to slide mode. Yeah. Now, in self-description, uh, we want candidates to write five paragraphs. I repeat, paragraphs. Still, uh, there are few candidates. After telling them, they write it in point form, which is incorrect. so first thing is you have to remember is that it is a paragraph format now the first paragraph is what does your parents think about you isme bhi kuch bacche jo hai apni feeling parents ke bare mein likhna shuru kar dete hain while the heading is very clear opinion of your parents about you the second paragraph is opinion of your teachers if you are a student and if you are employed then opinion of your employer the third paragraph is opinion of your friends if you are a student and if you are employed then opinion of your colleagues the fourth paragraph is self opinion what do you feel about yourself and finally the last paragraph actually this fifth paragraph again depends upon whether you are going in a army board naval board or air force board the meaning is same in air force board they say how do you see yourself in next 5 years in our naval board we say what are the qualities that you would like to improve upon <coughs> sorry and if you are in the army board 
they will ask you what kind of person you would like to become in future. So if you see, headings are different, but material which is to be written in that paragraph is almost same. So uh, these five paragraphs, time limit is 15 minutes, and there are three blank pages available to you for writing your self description. So in four minutes in TAT, you are writing about eight to 10 lines. So here in SD, in three minutes, we expect you to write about six to eight lines. Don't be short. Ki char line ligdi or katam. No. Six to eight lines. Take a mid figure. Seven lines has to be there in each paragraph. Probably the last paragraph you can cut down to five. But balance four paragraphs has to be seven lines. Another important point. Do not write any negative comment in these first four paragraphs. If my parents feel that I spend a lot of time with my friends or they say ki I am lazy. Teacher says I am naughty. Friend says everything is fine with you but you are slightly emotional. So do not write anything negative in the first four paragraphs. Whatever, because the first fifth paragraph is for that only. What are the qualities you would like to improve upon? Or how do you see yourself in future? Or how do you see yourself in next five years? So if you want to become an army officer, the first line should be, I want to see myself to be an army officer and for which I lack in communication or I lack in falana or I'm slightly lacking in physical stamina, there you can write your negative qualities. But when you're writing your negative qualities, you are required to write that what are you doing to improve them? Writing only negative will not help you. Writing that how are you going to improve them will make your fifth paragraph readable or good. So for the benefit of boys, uh, Simrat, you can show this slide uh, to these uh, candidates that I have written some points. Like for parents, I've written, if you write self-reliant, independent, responsible, match, you don't have to write at all. Even if you pick up only three, four of them, and give one example. My parents think that I am responsible and they give me responsibility of having uh, conducting sister's marriage. They feel that I am mature enough to take decisions. That's why they have left to me whether I want to work in a company or I want to become an entrepreneur. So these points can, these headings can be picked up from this slide and with examples, you can write your rest. Any questions? Uh, thank you so much, sir, for that uh, explanation. Sir, SD may, if, uh, because sometimes what happens is the candidate does not prepare beforehand itself, like before going to SSB. So in your opinion, what would you recommend? Should it be like... Uh, pre-prepared or pe ja ke moment mein whatever comes to your mind? Uh, truly speaking, prepare two things in advance. Blank story and SD. You don't have to get checked SD by some assessor or something. If you have a good English professor who can check your English and check whether these words are put in a correct format or in correct sequence or with the correct example. Fair enough. Great. Advantage. Advantage. Mug it up. Probably you will finish off your SD in say 13 minutes. You have left 
five blanks in WAT. Do I will not expand it further. <laughs> Great. Uh, sir, one thing that I have to ask is 15 minutes mein apne soch ke likhna is very tough because if you have to write 6 to 8 sentences and uh, 5 isli paragraphs. So, isli to, isli to bola. Yes. So, this is why I have to write a little bit of 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 a little English professor or yeah, any trained psychologist like uh, Joshi sir, CSSB Parshala, the link is in description and uh, they are giving fabulous results and they have just started and they are very good and we have also recorded one more video with sir on TAT and Yashwan sir who is a GTO at uh, JC SSB. So do check that out, the link is in description. And uh, sir, thank you so much for uh, and, today's uh, wonderful for, for workshop. The, for the record, can I say one more line? Yes, Just sir. Just for the, the candidates. Uh, we have uh, trained uh, till date about, uh, we have just two months old. So, uh, and we do uh, do not cross a limit of 10 candidates per batch. Because so you get more personal uh, attention. Personal attention, individual attention to candidates. And till date, we have uh, trained about... Um, 48 candidates and out of which uh, 34 have gone for SSB and out of which we have eight recommendations. Great, and, uh, there are three girls and uh, five boys. Great. That's wonderful, sir. And they have all GTO, psychologists, wonderful facility, interviewing officers, sab kuch hai. So do check it out. It's uh, it's the price of uh, their uh, training is also much uh, uh, better than the others and also the, you get more personalized uh, attention so you can check it check it out the link is in description and also share this video amongst your friends so that your video maximum loge pas pahunche don't be selfish <laughs> thank you so much sir Thank you, Simrat. Have a nice day and all the best to the aspiring candidates. Thank you.